Hi everyone, so today, yes, I want, in this video I want to cover basically two best practices in procurement, the one is procurement of services uh, 22Z and then the other one is BMD purchase contracts. I'm going to create a service contract that you can use in your company. I want to take you through the process and how you can do it. So these are, these contract services are usually used when you have a certain service that you get from a supplier, for instance, hosting or whatever you pay on a, on a monthly basis or on a regular basis. So then you will actually put a contract in place. There's a lot of advantages of using contracts and it's actually a very good practice in business in general to use a contract. So if I can take you through the process, Firstly, the app that we will use to start to kick off the process is to say to manage the purchase contracts and in here we will say let's let's go for it. Let's create the contract. So yes, we select the contract type for now. I'm going to select CMK and the contract name is service contract number two. For now, the supplier that I'm going to select is 64302 and there's our purchasing organization. Very important, then the target value that you want to work with for this um, contract should be in here. Your purchasing group, group responsible for, for this contract. The validity date, let's say it's a, a one day contract that you have. And just for this example, you can you can enter it there. So next up, we add the items um, to our contract. In this case, I'm just going to add a service. Firstly, well, we will say category is standard. The item account assignment category is um, cost center. We will look at uh, service material SM001. For now, which is this one, and it will be for hosting. Okay, um, let's go into the detail a bit more. If you go to the right, you can actually add your target quantity of how many hours 160 hours, and your price. You can add your plant, which is also usually a very good idea to have. You might have contracts that's running across multiple plants, but in this case, I'm just going to say this our plant code. Let's go into the detail a bit more. So for now, this looks fine. I just I'm looking for the for this options here, the GRIR control. So for now, we're going to say it's um, GR based invoice verification, which is very important. Right, and we have, if you go back to account assignment, let's just double, double check that we have all of this in here. There's our GR account. Let's go into the details here. Let's add our cost center. So we have our cost center there and then that's basically all of the information we need. Let's apply. Let's check the rest of the document. These are delivery details. You can add notes in here. That's important for your contract and you can add a few attachments. And then we apply. Okay, so our contract is, is, is complete from our point of view for now. Uh, we're going to create it. And we will most probably have contract number one. Let's see. Okay, so contract number 4602 was created. And that's what we're going to work with for now. Right. So now we go through the process. Um, we go, we, we want to to go through the PO and invoice process. For now, we're going to go to manage purchase orders and we go and create our purchase order. So very important is we have to reference our work, the contract when we do this purchase order. For now, I'm going to select 
from document and we will select purchase contract and you go it will give you a list of your contracts and we are going to select contract number two and we add the item very important right and so there's our hosting the order quantity let's say it's for 40 hours that we want to do this let's go into the detail a bit more all oh, looks good you look at the count assignment you can look at your tax details there's your 15 percent input that your pricing is populated and then let's apply and we create the order and order number 23 was created successfully here we go um, it will go now for approval in this case the approval is automatic so now i want to take you back to the the main procurement overview page which we can use to manage your procurement uh, to give an idea of what's happening in procurement if you look at your contract your contract spend we monitor your purchase contracts there's our contract contract 02 and from in this scenario you can actually just click on the header it will take you to the main app where you can look at the all your contracts or you can click on the individual contract and it will take you through through that okay so here we go there's some details all our contracts you can see the consumption here is 25 percent um, there's the details it's expiring soon and you can roll down if you want to do that there's another report that i want to show you source and supply and yeah you can monitor your contract items this is the app that i wanted to look at monitor purchase contract items and in this case it also gives you a different view total value and the least value of your various contracts okay okay so for now we're going to continue with the process we're going to do the service entry sheet for this purchase order we create this create it manually you can give it a name and we are looking for order number 23 for hosting all right and we're selecting that item and then we have to add the posting period which is today which is this item here so we have to select the performance period which is also then today and we want to bill for 40 hours right we're going to create the service entry sheet service entry sheet number 14 and we're going to send it for approval here we go right lastly we will cre now create the invoice before we go there let's look at the approval and see if it's gone through of the service entry sheet just want to add the, the approval uh, column yes it's been approved number 14 is in status 30 so we can go and create the supplier invoice which happens with this app where we basically just select the invoice date the posting period then we select the reference number and we are referencing a service entry sheet in this case it will be number 14 which is this one for hosting we add it and there's a balance of 46,000 that we have to add which we can do now we can just check the invoicing party is pulled in all the relevant information is available it's for hosting there's the PO number amount quantity tax rate you can actually just simulate simulate the invoice there's your jail accounts and you basically just post 
And there you go. That's how you do this. That's how you handle, how you create the contract and how you do the PO service entry sheet and invoice. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you again.